husband and I have been in the Dripping Springs area for about 16 years. And so about four years into that, we started getting involved with the Pound House. Um, I started off, you know, helping with Pioneer Days, which is <clears throat> the big fall event. And that's where they sort of recreate a, a day, you know, what it might have been like in the late 1800s and even early 1900s. And so I always helped out with the student volunteers because it was heavily um, worked with, with kids. We needed a lot of students to help with the activities, a lot of the events and so forth. Five or six years ago, I sort of took over coordinating all of that. So I would get all of the student volunteers that were needed to run that event. Because I you know, got involved with Pioneer Days um, and they found out that I you know, did quilting, they actually had some old quilts that were actually made by some of the Pound, uh, Pound House you know, family members. And some of the quilts were in disrepair so they actually gave some of those quilts to me and um, I got them pieced back together, got them cleaned up, and gave them back. It's sort of neat to go into the pound house and see, you know, quilts that either I helped to restore or, you know, ones that my students actually had a piece uh, in, in preserving. And so, you know, it, it tied my love of history with my love of quilting. We're just thrilled to have Paula Matthews on our campus. She's a leader. Uh, she's definitely a campus leader. Uh, she's been with us since the very beginning at Sycamore and she was foundational in helping us determine the direction that we were gonna go as a school and, and how we work as a team. She's a team leader in her eighth grade and also for in her eighth grade pod with her eighth grade team, but also with our math department. I've taught for 30 years, and so 16 of those years have been here in Dripping Springs, and it's just a great place to live. You know, I've seen such tremendous growth, but even with the growth, there is such a spirit of family. You know, I've worked in large districts like Dripping Springs before, and you would typically just know the people that you worked with on your campus. But here in Dripping, is, you know, I know I have relationships with teachers at the elementary level, with the high school level. You know, as a whole, you know, we're a family and, you know, you build those relationships. 